Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, RJK Tutorials. Today I'm going to do the review of KSET 2021 Management Paper 2. Uh, this question paper is not available in the uh, KSET website. So I have taken the scan copy of the question paper and I have done the review. Uh, you can follow the, the questions which has appeared in this presentation and we're going to help you out to know the questions which has commonly appeared in 2021. Uh, management paper two. Now let us uh, do the review and let us see what are the answers for the uh, different questions available in this paper two. So totally there are 100 questions are there. Uh, each question consists of two marks. So totally it is for 200 marks. So let us uh, do the review. The, uh, the first question is the process of converting a message into a symbolic form or a spoken language is known as encoding. So what is encoding? Encoding is a process of converting data into a format required for a number of information processing needs, including uh, program compiling and execution, data transmission, storage, and compression, including decompression. So this is the correct option, that is B. Second question, the form of business that limits the liability of individuals for the risks involved in the business activity is known as a company. So what is limited liability? So limited liability basically is a condition where the losses incurred by the owners or shareholders in a business is subject to the amount of capital invested by them in the business and do not extend to their personal assets. So this is what is called as the limited liability. So the correct option is A. So the third question, managerial economics is concerned with uh, which of the following combination? So the correct combination is C. So the investment analysis and decision. The second one is the, the production behavior and cost analysis. The third one is input reward analysis and uh, decision. And the fourth one is um, the economic uh, environmental analysis. So the correct option for this particular question is C. So this includes one, two, and four. That is investment analysis and decision. The second one is production, behavior, and cost analysis. And the fourth one is economic environmental analysis. So the correct answer for third question is C. That is one, two, and four options. So next we go to the fourth question, match the following. List one as well as list two. List one consists of various models. And the list two consists of the uh, the importance of those model. So the correct option is here D. So for A, it is four. That is Lassell model. Uh, it is communication is a persuasive model. For B, it is one. The Shannon Warner model is related to communication process based on information theory. The third one, uh, Gartner's model is related to different shapes of process depending upon the situation. The D Barlow model is related to the third option, dynamic interactive process. So therefore, for question number four, the correct option is answer D. Now we'll go to the fifth question. Once again, match the following. You have list one and two, competition versus example. So the correct option for this one is B, four, one, two, three. So Perfect competition is given by forms, uh, the form products like grains. So form products like grains is perfect competition. Then uh, B, B uh, is uh, two, for two to one, that is for oligopoly, the correct answer is aluminum and passengers car. And uh, for C, monopoly, it is two railways. So railways is monopoly, as you know, in India, we don't have any other company only by owned by the central government, that is Indian railways. And the D, that is monopolistic competition, it is the three manufacturing TV sets. So therefore, the correct option is B, that is for A, it is four, for B, it is one, for C, it is two, for D, it is three. So the correct option is B. Now, next we go for assertion and reasoning type of question. Now, the assertion is uh, deontology is a duty-based ethics 
it is an approach to ethics that addresses whether the motives behind certain actions are right or wrong. The reason is deontology focuses on whether the results of actions are right or wrong. So the correct option is C, that is A is correct, but the reason is not the right explanation of assertion. So therefore the correct option is the C. Seventh question, once again, assertion, reasoning, related question. Structures, configuration affect people in organization. The reason is decentralization is one of the key design dimensions in an organization and it is closely related to several behavioral dimension. So the correct option is B, A is correct and R is the right explanation of A. So the correct option for seventh question is B. So next we go for the eighth question. The price elasticity of demand for a product is measured by B. That is delta Q divided by Q divided by delta P divided by P. So what does it mean? It means the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in the price of the commodity. So therefore, for the eighth question, the correct answer is B. So next we go for the ninth uh, question. So the ninth question is a business should act ethically for which of the following reason? So the correct option is A, one, two, and three, to prevent harm to the general public. Second one, to meet the stakeholders expectation. And third one is to protect their own employees. So therefore, for ninth uh, question, the answer is A. Then we go for the 10th one, which one of the following so which one of the following uh, managerial approach suggests that the system and technology which people use influence their attitude and behavior? So the correct option is B, socio-technical system approach. So what do you mean by socio-technical system approach? Socio-technical system allows people to work with technology in ways that benefit society and advance organizational goals taking a broader perspective of technology and incorporating a human element can help us build more effective companies and improve the customer service. So it is basically allowing people to work with technology for the benefit of the society. So such a system is called socio-technical system. So therefore the correct answer is B. So next we go for the 11th one, assertion and reason. Organizational citizenship is a dis uh, discretionary behavior that is not a part of employees' formal job requirements, but nevertheless promotes the effective functioning of the organization. The reason is job satisfaction is an important dependent variable in developing the organization behavior model. So the correct option is B. A and R are true, but R, that is a reason, is not the correct explanation of assertion. So the correct option for 11th one is B. So next we go to the uh, 12 to 15 questions, which is related to a paragraphic reading. So it is questions coming from the paragraphs. So let us see what is the paragraph. Organizational behavior offers both challenges and opportunities for managers. It offers specific insights to improve managers, people skills. It recognizes the differences and help managers to see the value of workforce diversity and practices that may need to change when managing in different region. It can improve quality and employee productivity by showing managers how to empower their people, design and implement change programs and help managers balance work-life conflicts. So here the first question is, which of the following is not a people management skill? So in this, which is not a uh, skill related to people. So here the, the answer is D, computing skill, because adaptability, interpersonal leadership is related to people. So computing skill is not a people management skill. So therefore, since it is not a uh, people management skill, the correct option for 12th question is a D. So next we go for 13th question, which of the following is not an extended role of human resource manager? The answer is B. So manager role can be empowering, transforming and resolving, but not inducing conflicting. So therefore B is not the correct option for 13th question. 14th question, which of the following is a challenge facing human resource manager today? 
so the correct option is attitudinal transformation so so this is the biggest challenge so biggest challenge is uh, changing the attitude of people is a very difficult thing there are other things you can control it but changing the attitude uh, or inducing a transformation of attitude of employees is very difficult thing so therefore the correct option for 14th question is c 15th question workforce diversity is similarities and differences in terms of age culture race religion and gender among the option is d employees within an organization so the correct option for 15th question is d employees within an organization so next we go to the match the following 16th question list 1 versus list 2 personality dimensions versus the traits so the correct option for this one is a so for a it is 3 b it is 4 c it is 2 d it is equal to 1 so that is emotional stability is related to someone who is calm and self confident so b openness to experiences or experience is related to a person who is imaginative and curious next to c uh, agreeableness so agreeableness is related to someone who is good natured and trusting d extroversion is related to one someone who is sociable sociable and assertive so therefore the correct option for the 16th question is a 17th question so what is the correct option for 17th question the advantage that accrue an employee over and above his salary as a result of his employment and position in an organization is referred to as benefits so the correct option for 17th question is c benefits so next we go to the uh, 18th question which is match the following list one uh, disciplines list two is contributing factor to the field of organizational behavior so here the correct option is for a it is 3 b it is 2 c it is 1 d is equal to 4 so the option a is the correct option so let us see that one uh, social psychology is related to attitude change so social psychology is related to attitude change sociology is related to group dynamics anthropology is related to comparative values d intra organizational politics is related to political science so the correct option for 18th question is a now next we go to the 19th question which are the value dimensions of um, of of state's framework for assessing culture so you have four option power uh, distance orientation uncertainty avoidance index quality of work life so first of all you should know uh, what is the role of of state's cultural dimension theory uh, contributed by uh, Jert Ofsted. So, according to Jert Ofsted, it is basically it is a framework he has developed to uh, it is used to understand the differences in uh, cultures across the countries. Since different countries do have different cultures, his model or his theory is going to help in understanding the uh, different cultures. So, it is also used for analyzing cross cultural analysis. So, Ofsted's initial six key dimensions include, according to him, power distance, uncertainty, avoidance, individualism and collectivism, uh, masculinity and femininity, short versus long-term orientation. Later researchers added restraint uh, versus indulgence. So therefore, the correct option for 19th question is B, that is power distance, orientation and uncertainty avoidance index as given by Ofsted's cultural dimensions. Uh, key factors. Next, we go to the 20th question, assertion reasoning. Uh, new non-managerial employees only must, uh, must be provided with a systematic orientation in an organization. The reason is newcomers are curious to learn the formal and informal rules of the organization where the co-workers are a good source of information. The, the exact option for 20th question is C. A is false but R is true. 21st question, which of the following is, uh, is not a long-term consequence of human resource management? So the task commitment uh, is not a long-term consequence of human resource management. So therefore, 21st question, the option is A, task, 
टॉस्क कमिटमेंट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ये स्टेप्स इन ए ट्रेनिंग साइकिल और सो इट इंक्लूड्स द फर्स्ट वन आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ ट्रेनिंग नीड्स डिजाइनिंग द ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम डिलीवरिंग द ट्रेनिंग evaluating the training outcome so therefore for 22nd question the option b is the correct one now going to the 23rd question which of the following is the best definition of learning organization so the correct option for 23rd question is b an organization which facilitates the learning of all its members and continuously transforms itself is actually the correct definition of learning organization next 24th question decentralization of power team formation and flattering of the hierarchy or the examples of which type of organization change the correct option is structural change so it is called structural change 25th question organizational development interventions include uh, the option is c coaching life and career planning and the fourth one process consultation So therefore, the correct option for twenty-fifth question is C, which includes one, three, and four options. Now match the following: the twenty-sixth question, terms as well as the definitions. So here, the um, the correct options. the 26th question the correct option is a sorry that uh, the options are not uh, uh, displayed here uh, for a it is four that is human relations the correct answer is relations between or among the human beings this is the uh, correct answer for b employee relations it is relations between employer and employee as individuals for c employment relations it is relations between parties in an employment context either as individuals or collectively and d industrial relations it is one collective relations between managements and trade union so therefore the correct uh, answer for this particular thing is for a it is four and for b it is 2 for c it is 3 and for d it is 1 so that is how uh, it is interrelated okay next we go to the uh, 27th question 27th question so the 27th question like goes like this the sequence the stages of hr linkages to the implementation of business strategy from the following so that means you have to put that uh, things in a proper order the correct option is c so the first one is insertion interpretation inspection and integration so therefore the correct option for 27th question is c okay next we go to the 28th question arrange the stages of action research process in the correct order so here the the, the correct answer is c so first it starts with second consultation with the behavioral scientist next is third one data gathering fourth one feedback then the first one joint action planning so 28th question the correct uh, the answer is c so here, here you can see in this particular uh, uh, the diagram uh you can see the description of the process so problem identification followed by consultation with a behavioral uh, science expert data gathering and preliminary diagnosis feedback to the uh, key client or the group joint diagnosis of the problem action data gathering after action so this is how the process goes on so as per this process you can see that it going to start with the consultation then data gathering then feedback then joint diagnosis of the problem so therefore the correct option for 28th question is c next we go to 29th question assertion human resource transformation has necessitated the redesigning of talent practices the reason is speed is the new business currency 
agile practices are replacing old hr system with a business justification so first of all you should know what you mean by agile practices so agile practice in hr refers to application of agile methodologies to human resource function so the agile approach uh, emphasizes flexibility collaboration rapid uh, iteration which can help the hr teams to be more responsive or proactive to the changing business needs and the employee expectations so it makes the hr uh, team to be more dynamic and uh, agile to the changes to the uh, needs of the business so some of the key benefits of hr uh, agile hr includes a uh, faster time to market for new product or services that means you are able to deliver new product to the uh, market or to provide new services to the customers at a faster rate improved employee engagement retention better alignment between hr and business goals and increased organizational agility so therefore the correct answer is a a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a so therefore 29th question the option is a so 30th question which of the following is the correct classification of the types of trade unions in india the correct op option is a d uh, craft union industrial union general union and fourth one is federations so cartel doesn't come here so therefore cartel is removed here so 1 2 3 4 is the correct option 31st question accounting standard 19 deals with uh, accounting of lease so accounting of leasing is done in the accounting standard 19 so therefore correct option is c for 31st question so 32nd question as the following list one versus list two acid test ratio is related to liquidity analysis and debt service ratio is related to profitability analysis c debt equity ratio is related to long term solvency and d stock turnover ratio is related to activity analysis so therefore for 32nd question the correct option is d now uh, going for with the 33rd question assertion and reasoning related question assertion is the net operation income noi approach is opposite of net income approach the reason is the essence of noi is the capital structure decision of a firm is irrelevant and does not affect the value of the firm and its cost of the capital the correct answer is both a and r are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion so therefore for 33rd question the correct answer is a so next we go to the uh, 34th question arrange the following in a proper sequence in case of the zero uh, base budgeting now <clears throat> so as per the uh, this thing the correct option is uh, the uh, the c 4 1 2 5 3 is determine objectives operations and cost of all current and new activities then followed by one search for alternatives next the second one establish evaluation criteria fifth one evaluate various alternatives and third one rank all the activities including the new in terms of preference so uh, under the zero base budgeting so this is what you will be noticing so it has the major steps are determine objectives operations and the cost of all the current and the new activities under the control of the manager or the company search for alternative means of conducting each activity evaluate various alternative means in terms of cost and benefits at various levels of efforts for each activity establish evaluation criteria for measuring workload and performance rank all the activities including the proposed new activities in term uh, in terms of preference so that is how it is uh, related so therefore uh, by seeing this explanation you can conclude the correct option for 34th question is c 4 1 2 5 and 3 now let us go to 35th question so the 35th question goes like this assertion and reasoning uh, agency problem occurs when management tries to fulfill its own interest at the cost of the value of the firm the reason is some managers may place personal goals ahead of the corporate goals so both a and r are true one so 36th question which one of the following is uh, is not correct so the correct option is c time value of money remains unchanged during the different time period so it says that time value of money remains unchanged 
in fact it undergoes a change so therefore unchanged is a uh, wrong option so therefore c has to be removed so correct answer for 36 question is c now 37th question which one of the following are the objectives of holding cash so the option is b so here you have two three four so what is the two three four transaction motive precautionary motive and fourth one is speculative motive 38th question abc limited requires 90000 units of certain items manually the cost per unit is rupees 3 cost per purchase order is rupees 3 and red and carrying cost is rupees 6 per unit per year what is the evoq here you have evoq is asked to be calculated in units suppose if you are calculating evoq uh, q in rupees then you have to do a little bit change in the formula if it is in units this is the formula what is the formula economic order quantity evoq is given by square root of 2 s d divided by h s is ordering cost or fixed cost d is the annual quantity demanded and h is the holding cost or the variable cost so by putting all these values you are going to get the answer of 3 thousand units so therefore the correct answer for 38th question is a now we go to 39th question which of the following statements are correct see correct option is uh, b uh, 2 and 4 so retained earning do not have explicit cost that is correct uh, then we have the fourth one beta is a measure of uh, systematic risk so that is also correct actually so you can know what do you mean by retained earning so retained earning refers to the accumulated net income of a company or a business organization retained earning does not involve any explicit cost in the form of interest dividend or or floating cost so therefore correct option is b so 40th question the only visible goal of uh, financial management is b wealth maximization so who is going to get the wealth maximization the shareholders is going to get the wealth maximization so therefore this is the correct option so 41st question match the following so here the correct option is a d2314 uh, that is uh, capital market uh, it is related to total risk p market risk premium is related to capm capm basically stands for capital asset pricing model and c security market line is related to one beta factor and d multiple factor is led to arbitrage pricing model so what do you mean by capital market line so this is basically concerned with portfolio that uh, properly balanced risk and return it is a graph that depicts the predicted return on a portfolio given a certain amount of risk so security market line or sml is a visual representation of the uh, capital asset pricing model or capm uh, cml is a theoretical representation of the expected returns of an asset based on systematic and non-diversifiable risk. So market risk premium or MRP is a difference between expected return on the market portfolio and risk-free rate. So therefore, the correct option for 41st question is D. So next we go to the... Uh, <clears throat> so next we go to the uh, 42nd question. So the 42nd question goes like this. The dividend... Uh, per share of a firm is expected to be rupee one per share, and next year expected to grow at six percent per year perpetually. Determine the cost of equity capital, assuming market price per share to be rupees twenty one. So to calculate the cost of the equity using the dividend capitalization model, we have to use the cost of capital uh, formula. What is that one? That is equal to D one divided by P zero. Uh, close the bracket plus G. So D one is dividends per share uh, given in the next year. P0 is the current market price per share. G is equal to dividend growth rate. So given the information in the per share, we can plug in the values. So 1 divided by 25 plus 0 0.06, uh, cost of the equity comes to 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is nothing but 10%. So therefore, the correct answer for 42nd question is B, 10%. So 43rd question, which of the following evaluation technique for capital budgeting takes into consideration time value of money? So the correct option is C, 2, 3, 4. So net present value method, uh, internal rate of return method, and the fourth one is profitability index. 44th question. So the 44th question uh, goes like this. 
the risk of two securities have I mean, uh, the, the risk of two securities having uh, different expected returns can be compared with the correct uh, option is coefficient of variance. So what is coefficient of variance? So standard deviation divided by mean into 100%. So the, the if you want to compare any two risk having ex uh, different expected returns, it can be compared by using a statistical tool known as the coefficient of variance. So here is the formula as you see. Uh, the formula is standard deviation divided by mean into 100%. So next one is 45th question. When the holder has the right but not the obligation to buy an asset by a certain date for a certain price, it is called B, call option. The correct answer is call option. 46th question. Which of the following statements are correct regarding mergers? So the correct option is B, 1, 2, 4, 5. That is tax benefits, fast growth, synergy and diversification. So these are the benefits regarding the mergers. So 47th one, assertion and reasoning. Preference shares do not have a voting rights under all circumstances. The reason is preference capital involves high cost and does not dilute owner's uh, control of the company. The correct option is C. A is false, but R is true. That means the reason is correct actually. So 48th question, which one of the following is not a critical assumption of Walter model. So the correct option is A, all financing is done through external sources. So this is not a critical assumption of Walter's model. So 48th question, the answer is A. Next, we go to the 49th question. A portfolio consists of two securities and expected return on two securities is 12%, 16% respectively. Calculate the return of portfolio if the first security accounts for 40% of the portfolio. So the portfolio return, often known as the return on portfolio, is uh, can be a, a profit or a loss on these investments. So given the presence of two securities in the portfolio, so here the, uh, the return on security one is 12%, return on the second security is 16%. So in the first uh, security, accounts for 40% of the uh, overall portfolio. So we must calculate the portfolio return. So because security one accounts for 40% of the overall uh, portfolio, security two must account for 60% as we know it. How oh, 100% minus 40%, the balance is 60%. So therefore, security two must account for 60% of the total portfolio. So therefore, the overall portfolio returns will be 40% 40 into 12% plus 16 to 16%. That comes to 14.5 4094%. So the correct answer for 49th question is C, 14.4%. 50th question, when the options can be exercised only on the maturity date, it is called European option. The correct option for 50th question is C, European option. 51st question, which of the following is not an operations strategy? So D is technology. So technology is not an operations strategy. So 52 question, AIDA. So what does AIDA stands for? It stands for B, uh, option that is attention, interest, desire, and action. So 53rd question, which of the following three are the phases of strategic management? So the correct option is B, one, two, and four. So that is strategic formulation, strategic implementation, and strategic evaluation and control. As you see in this diagram, the steps of strategic uh, management process is explained here. So as per this, the correct answer for 53rd question is, uh, it, it is B, that is one, two, and four. 54th question, which among the following are the tangible components of customer value? So tangible co components means which is visible or which can be felt by the customer. So the correct option is C, one, three, and four. So one, three, and four is nothing but functional value. That is what the function of a product can, can be done, that can be seen, can be felt. Third one is economic value, how much money was spending on that, that can be felt. And fourth one is convenience value. What is the amount of the convenience you're going to get from using the product? So therefore, the correct option is C, one, three, and four for the 54th question. 55th question, as the following course of action, brand study, uh, branding strategy, the correct option is B, uh, for the uh, same product and the uh, same brand name, uh, it is to line extension. 
for uh, B, new product, same brand name. It is brand extension. For C, same product, new brand name. It is one multi-brand. For D, new product, new brand name. It is new brand. So therefore, the correct answer for 55th question is B. So options are 2, 4, 1, 3 related to A, B, C, D. 56th question, uh, list one versus list two, marketing program as well as features. The correct option is uh, A. Uh, <clears throat> that is product is related to quality. Price is related to margin. Place is related to warehouse. And promotion is related to personal selling. So 57th question, assertion as well as reasoning. Psychographic segmentation divides buyers into different groups based on traits and lifestyles. The reason is customers within the same de demographic groups can exhibit different uh, psychographic profiles. So the correct option is C, A and R, both are correct. And R is the correct explanation of A. So next we go to the 58th question. Arrange the following channels of distribution for consumer goods in the proper sequence. So the correct option is two, producer, agent, wholesaler, retailer, and consumer. So 58th question, the correct option is C. 59th question, following the steps in the process segmentation, arrange them in a proper sequence. So once again, it is C here. So first one is need-based segmentation, segmentation identification, segment uh, attractiveness. Uh, third one is segment profitability. Then you have segment positioning. Then you have segment asset test. Then you have marketing mix strategy. So 60th one, arrange the different concepts of marketing in a proper sequence. So the correct option is B, three, one, two, four. That is production concept, uh, product concept, selling concept, and marketing concept. So as you can see in the evolution of marketing concept diagram, so this options B, three, one, two, four fits into the uh, correct uh, answer. So therefore, for 60th question, the answer is B. Yeah, 60, uh, first question, factor endowment theory of international trade was uh, propounded by, propounded by B, uh, the option is uh, Exchequer and Bertin Holin. So he is the, uh, I mean, these are the people who propounded the factor endowment theory. So therefore, the correct option for 60, first question is B. So 62nd question, the art of creating a distinct image of brand in the minds of the customers is called brand positioning. So the correct option is C. Which of the following are the members of primary reference group? So C, one, two, and three, family, colleagues, and friends. 64, which among the following are the parts of brand perception? It is D, selective attention, selective distortion or distortion and fourth one is selective retention so the correct option for 64th question is d now 65th question which among the following are the supply chain process cycle supply chain process cycle this is what you can see so customer order cycle replenishment cycle manufacturing cycle followed by the procurement cycle so therefore if you look at the options and the diagram you can see the uh, 65th question, the option is C, 1, 3, 4. That is customer order cycle followed by manufacturing cycle followed by the procurement cycle. So this is the correct option. 65th question, the option is C. 66th question, match the following theories as well as the propounded uh, people name. So it is correct option is uh, A for uh, a it is 1, B it is 2, C it is 4, D is equal to 3. Uh, natural selection in retailing is Charles Darwin. Uh, wheel of retailing is given by Brown. Uh, accordion theory is given by Davidson. And retail life cycle theory is given by uh, Hollander. So therefore, the correct option for 66 question is A. So next one, uh, the stages of integration and policy decision. Uh, now this is how the, the diagram uh, basically explains the how the things are going to happen. So from preferential trading agreement, it goes to free trade agreement. 
to custom union to common market economic union and to the political union so therefore the correct option is b so for free trade area it is abolition of tariffs and quotas among the members for b customs union it is a common tariff and quota system for uh, c common market it is for abolition of restriction of on factor movement and for d economic union it is harmonization and unification of economic policies and institution so this is based upon the explanation given in the diagram 67th question is over now we go to the 68th question assertion and reasoning uh, the assertion is pricing decisions are not crucial to a firm's uh, success in the international markets <clears throat> the reason is the price in international markets is influenced by competition market demand cost purchasing uh, power and foreign exchange fluctuation the answer is a a is wrong or e is correct 69th question the key phases i mean the key phases of uh, customer relationship management project implementation are as follows arrange them in a proper sequence so the correct option is b 2 1 5 4 3 that is <clears throat> develop crm strategy build crm project foundation uh, specify needs and select partner implement the project and third one is evaluate performance 70th question arrange the following uh, retailing uh, buying process in a proper sequence the correct option is 1 3 2 4 uh, 6 and 5 that is determine the customer requirements develop product to meet the customer requirement uh, supply product uh, fourth one pricing of the product sixth one specific order details and monitor the delivery and sales 71th question the standard deviation of the first n natural numbers is given by square root of n square minus 1 divided by 12 so therefore the correct option is a the coefficient of correlation between two variables x and y is 0.80 their covariance is 16 the variance of, uh, of the x is 100 determine the standard deviation of y series so the correlation is given by covariance of uh, x and y divided by standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of y now here co correlation is 0.80 covariance is 16 now here variance is given so the difference between variance and standard deviation if you want to calculate standard deviation you have to take the square root of uh, variance that is square root of 100 is 10 so 10 into standard deviation of y so cross multiplying we are going to get 2 so the correct answer is 72nd question it is c 2 so 73rd question the baby food manufacturing company claims that an average the food content of each box is 100 grams to check the claim the quality inspector considered 81 random samples and noted that the mean and standard deviation are 102 grams and 9 grams respectively while testing the hypothesis the test statistic value is obtained as what so for this you have to use the z formula z formula is given by x bar minus mu divided by uh, standard deviation whole thing divided by square root of n so therefore it is 102 minus 100 102 uh, minus 100 divided by 9 that divided by square root of 81 so that comes to 2 so the correct option is b2 as per the uh, solving of the problem here <clears throat> next we go to the uh, 74th question the probability that the 80% of the tourists who come to india will visit agra while 50% will visit goa and 50% of them will visit both agra and goa the probability that the tourists will visit either agra or goa or both is given by what so here it is a problem related to probability so let us know what is the probability of a so probability of uh, visiting agra is uh, 80% probability of visiting goa is uh, 50% probability of visiting agra and goa is 50% the probability of visiting agra or goa that is a or g is given by probability of a plus probability of uh, g minus probability of a into g that is 0.8 plus 0.5 minus 0.5 that comes to 0.8 or 80% so the correct answer is uh it is b 80% i think there is a uh, it is a typo mistake is there sorry for that for 74th question the correct answer is b 
Now, 75th question, which of the following is not a method used in choosing the best plant location? The correct option is C, critical path method. So this method is not used for choosing the best plant location. 76th question, a solution to a transportation problem with M uh, rows that is supplies and N columns, the destination, the feasible number of uh, positive allocations are given by M plus N minus one, that is a D. 77th question, with reference to sample size, the, determ uh, uh, the uh, determination, the term square root of uh, capital N minus small n divided by capital N minus one is termed as A, infinite population correction factor. So for 77th question, the answer is A. 78th question, the production facility organized around the process to facilitate low volume, high uh, variety pro production is termed as C, processed or process focused uh, production, process focused uh, production. Uh, therefore, for 78th question, the answer is C. So 79th question, as the following list one versus list two, the correct option is B, three, four, two, one. So networking technique is three, or uh, Porta CPM, and B, sequencing technique is a four, critical ratio, uh, process of unending improvement to achieve higher goals is to Kaizen and for D, gap analysis requirements, it is ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. So therefore, for 79th question, the correct option is B, 3, 4, 2, 1. 80th question, the questions uh, constraint response to make choice among a set of mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive alternatives is called D, closed end questions. 81st question, which one of the statement is correct for organization mentioned below? SEO, SARC, BRICS, ASEAN. The correct option is C, headquarter of all the above organizations are situated in the Asia. 82nd question, assertion as well as reasoning. The assertion is FDI is distinguished form of a foreign portfolio investment by, uh, by a notion of direct control. Reason is FDI is an investment in form of controlling ownership in a business in one country by entity based in other country. The correct option is B, both A and R are correct. So 83rd question, arrange the following steps to import procedure in international trade procedures and documentation in the correct order. So the correct option is B, 2, 3, 1, 5, 4. That is, uh, file bills of entry with the business identification number, determine the rate of duty clearance from the warehouse, uh, file request documents with the custom department, uh, submit the import uh, report manifest, a fourth one receive permission to import goods. 84th question, the international organization that deals with balance of payment problem is actually IEMF. I think there's a printing mistake in the question paper. It is D IEMF. It is not IEFM, it is IMF. So IMF is International Monetary Fund, basically deals with the uh, solving of balance of payment of countries by giving loans. 85th question, phone services, web hosting services, online conference facilities are the examples of the following. Which one it is that? It is B, virtual communities. I'm sorry, it is, uh, it is not B. I think there is a mistake in this answer here. Uh, for 85th question, the correct option will be the virtual offices, not uh, virtual communities. So it is not B, it is C. So for 85th question, it is C. A virtual office is a company that operates as a one unit as a physical mailing address, but does not exist in one specific location. The development of tools such as video conferencing and messaging services uh, led to the increased usage of virtual office. So therefore, phone service, web hosting, online conferencing, all part of the virtual offices. 86th question, which type of the following information system is most helpful to perform the store the daily routine transaction necessary to perform business and services at the organization's operation level? So this include TPS, DSS, ESS, and GDSS. It, the actual answer is A, transactional processing system. That is TPS refers to an information processing system used for business transaction that involve the retrieval, collection, modification, 
of transaction of data. It offers an execution environment that ensures data availability, security, and integrity. More all TPS is used for day-to-day -day transactions. That means the routine information, what it has to be stored, processed, for that we use the TPS. So therefore, for 86, the question answer is A. <clears throat> 87 question, assertion and reasoning. The, the data warehouse consolidated and uh, consolidates and standardizes information from different operational database so that the information can be used by the managers for analysis and decision making and also by others. The reason is the data warehouse provides a range of ad hoc and standardized query tools, analytical tools, and makes the data available for everyone to access as needed, which can also be altered. The correct option is C, A is true, but R is false. 88th question, which of the following is not a major type of knowledge management system? The correct answer is virtual teams. So virtual team is not a type of a knowledge management system. 89th question, match the following. Say the correct option is B2413. Uh, system implementation phase is actually operational system. Then uh, remote batch processing is uh, data process at uh, a later time. C, turnover output is external output d uh, tacit knowledge is not transmittable so what is tacit knowledge so tacit knowledge refers to knowledge skills and abilities an individual gains through experience that is often difficult to put into word that means the knowledge the skills what you develop through the experience so this is actually called tacit knowledge so tacit knowledge is also known by other terms such as uh, experiential knowledge Tribal knowledge and know knowledge. And whereas turnover document is a document that has been output from a computer, some extra information potential added to it, then return to become an input document. So such, such a thing is basically called as a uh, turnover, uh, turnaround document. For example, meter cards uh, that are produced for collecting readings from gas meters, photocopiers or uh, water meters, etc. can be taken here. So correct option for 89th question is B. 90th question, the systems using intelligent technique for capturing tacit knowledge in a, a very specific and limited domain of human expertise is B, data warehousing. So the correct option is data warehousing. 91st question, a network entrepreneur is an individual who identifies his or her business idea through social contacts. So when you say about network, it, it talks about the social contacts. 92nd thing, assertion and reasoning. Entrepreneurs bring aggressive capital for existing business in traditional marketplace. The reason is entrepreneurs recognize opportunities where others see chaos or confusion. The correct answer is uh, B. So B is R is correct and A is wrong. That is reason is correct, assertion is wrong. 93rd question. So sequence the outline of the business. The correct option is B, 2, 1, 4, 3, uh, 7, 5, and 6. That is industry analysis, followed by description of venture, followed by production plan, marketing plan, organizational plan, uh, assessment of risk, and financial plan. 94th question, match the following problem as well as the cause. So the correct option is D, 3, 1, 2. So... <clears throat> Internal cause of the sickness is faulty project selection. Uh, eternal problem, own financing by banks. C, excessive regulation of government policies uh, is even is because of red tapeism. So 94th question, correct answer is D. <clears throat> 95th question, which of the following is not possible route to market entry for a small business owner or entrepreneurship or entrepreneurs? Uh, it is C. Only two, which is that one, corporate venture. So corporate venture is not possible route to market entry for a small business owners or entrepreneur. 96th one, the definition of micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs in India is based upon, the correct option is B, investment in machines and equipments. So this is the data given. So previously it was uh, even like this. Later on, they have changed to the following uh, the, the threshold thing. So previously it was 25 lakhs for micro, 
uh, for uh, small it was less than 5 crore, medium it was 10 crore, then it has increased to 1 crore, 10 crore and 20 crore respectively. So over a period of time, the central government uh, has changed the, uh, the minimum uh, investment uh, for all these companies. So based upon this uh, explanation, the correct option for 96th question will be B, investment in machines and equipments. That means you're going to define whether the company is a micro, small or medium enterprises based upon the investment in uh, machines and equipments. 97th question, uh, sequence steps uh, of developing a new concept using the forced relation method of a creative problem solving. So the correct option is C, one, three, two, uh, five, and four. Isolate the elements of problem. Find the relation between these uh, patterns. Second one is record the relation in an orderly form. Fifth one, analyze the resulting relation to find the ideas or pattern. And fourth one, develop a new idea from this pattern. 98 thing, assertion reasoning. And an intrapreneur is not sensitive to corporate hierarchy. Reason intrapreneurs are expert to sell their ideas to their own organizations at first. The correct option is B. A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. 99th question. A business idea becomes a great business opportunity when it comes, uh, when it covers which of the uh, four of the following. So correct option is C, 1, 4, 5, 6. That is attractiveness, time, uh, uh, timeliness. Then you have durability and value addition to the end user. Last question, which uh, one is not a part of industry analysis for a business plan? So which one is not a part of a industry analysis for a business plan? The correct option is C, distribution. Except distribution, all other things, A, B, and D is correct. So therefore, the correct option for 100th question is C, distribution. So thank you very much uh, for watching my analysis of the question paper 2021. Uh, management paper too. I hope that you got the complete information about how to uh, find out the answer for these 100 questions. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, RJK Tutorials. And don't forget to give a comment. Your comment will be a feedback for me to improve the, uh, the uh, upcoming videos. And also subscribe my videos by pressing the bell icon. Thank you very much.